Okay, for about the next couple of minutes, what I want to do is do a takedown of this guy. You can see the meter. You can see this fellow's working here. You can see the charge rate. I want to take it down so that <laughs> no one thinks there's still batteries hidden in here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to disconnect the bridge rectifier right here. <laughs> Pull all the... Actually, what I'm going to do is disconnect it from the unit itself. Right here. <sighs> Pull that out. So now you can see we the charge on the capacitor and this is going up from bounce from the last if you saw when I started the video it was about 2.4 volts so that's just the bounce coming back from the capacitor there we'll leave it lay there out of the way because what people are interested in is this right here and I want to show you and I break it apart here Oops, <laughs> and show you that there were no batteries touching the plates and darn it I'll take that apart and set those over there and you can see that these are all magnets right I mean no way am I hiding batteries in there same with this end here get that guy off of there like so and you can and then let's take a look at the back of these connectors to be sure nothing's been modified here we got the four diodes the capacitor and the meter and we're still getting a little bit of bounce in here so what I'm going to do is go ahead if you feel comfortable with that no I'm not going to take this apart but what I will do is here let me take and connect to this whoops and you see there's actually the meters just going crazy because it doesn't know if it's AC or DC or or what's happening this is just normal meter activity you can see that it's not DC, you can see that it's not AC. There's really nothing there. Look at that. So this is not a battery, period. Uh, I want to ensure that everyone understand that this is not a battery. No way. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble this thing back up. I got <laughs> God, it's eating everything up here with all these. <coughs> magnets. Be sure I got nine on each side. Boy, gotta be careful of these things because they shatter. I don't think I have an equal number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, need to break it there. Alright, and then we're going to hook it up this away. Oh God, bend my plate. Shame on me, huh? Put it back in here. Hook this up. I guess I had it that way. Hook this up to here. And we're going to take and hook this guy back up again. Oh man, oh man. I'll tell you, when you get these strong magnets in there, you better be careful because you're going to get more than energy out of them if you're <laughs> if you're not careful. Let me lay it down here. Okay, I got that one in, and now I'm going to try to get this one in. Hook it up. Okay, set it up here. Get it out of the get it out of the way so that you can see it hook the voltmeter back up negative negative and positive positive and there we go we're showing charge again so 
Now I don't know, I don't have a magnetometer or anything like that, so I can, sh I don't know how to show you that there's no magnetic fields around here extraneous that's doing this. It's not RF. I mean, gentlemen, if it were RF, we'd have to have tens of watts to do this. And you can see that I should either increase the signal or drastically decrease it if it were RF coming in here. So anyway, I don't know what else I can do to convince you that this is the circuit. Uh, as I go into it a little bit deeper, I've got some things where we can refine it to make it even simpler yet, of all things. So anyway, I hope that shows you there's no batteries in here.